Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I just want to take a second just to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for watching, thank you for sticking around, and thank you for commenting on all of my videos, uh, those that you do comment on. Um, and I'm going to take the plunge and plant out those sweet peas today because there's no reason for me not to. I have the trellis ready, which is just behind me. Um, so, and I found a spot that I think it would be okay. I need to sort of sort out the soil, add a lot more um, compost, but I have compost now. So I will kind of take you through the process of what I'll be doing. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, I'll show you in a second, but the, the pots have been sat on the soil for so long, um, the pots with the sweet peas in, that they have fully rooted down into the soil. So I'm going to have to choose whether I cut them off. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna cut them off. <laughs> I don't wanna cut through my pots. Uh, obviously I'll try to set, like save as much as I can, but I'll show you the extent of it in a second when I actually get to pulling them up. Um, I'll turn the camera around and do that now. So just quickly, this is the trellis that I just, uh, well, I've made, I made that about a month ago and then it blew over in the wind, all broke apart and then I remade it. <laughs> so um, the bottom bits are like nailed together, believe it or not, through that tiny wood. Um, and then the rest is all tied up with twine. Um, it should be able to withstand the weather, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I think it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Quite rustic looking, and this is just um, wood from my cherry tree. When I prune it, I use the, use the stems. So yeah, um, so moving down here, we have the sweet peas, believe it or not, in there somewhere. Um, where are they? So I should probably move some of these plants out of the way, but that would make it too easy. So, um, just down here, if I, oh, that's resisting quite a lot. Oh no, oh, it's not too bad. Well, I mean, it probably was, but I just yanked off most of those roots. <laughs> so I'm not gonna pull, wait, is it coming loose? Yeah, it's coming loose. So these are pretty long already. Um, so I've I've really neglected these. I shouldn't have l just left them sitting in the greenhouse for this long, but like it is what it is. <laughs> so I will place that down. I'm just going to turn the camera around and sort the camera angle out because this ain't okay. Right. So the sweet peas have rooted very much so into the ground, like I assumed, and they are so much bigger than I thought they were. Like this is. A very established plant and you see the roots coming out the bottom there were a lot more than that but they did come off when I pulled it off Ooh, there's a spider on there um, yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna set these aside for the moment um, I do have two two parts of that so I'll pull the other one up in a bit but I'm gonna prepare the site first um, dig in some compost and water it first um, before I stick these in because it's it's a windy day and it's a hot day they are the two like biggest causes for like plant dehydration so um, yeah I'll, I'll take you around I'm gonna I'll show you what I'm doing but I probably won't talk it'll probably be a speeded bit where I'm digging and etc but um, yeah I'm gonna sort that out right now So I'm going to plant them straight in now um, and then place the trellis in afterwards. So I think, I've got both from here, I think I'm going to pop them both in the centre, kind of like that, place the trellis and then tie them onto the trellis. So if I plant them in the centre then obviously I know 
that the trellis is not going to cause much damage when I place it, I'm going to have to break off some of these roots. Oh, there we go, it's sliding through. Yeah, all the roots down the bottom. So sweet peas are very like deep-rooted plants, and they like a lot of rich soil. So that's why I did so much of this compost. Stick them right there. Now this is a lot of plants for one little space, but I'm not too worried about spacing. I just want, you know, whatever will grow will grow. Um, I'm gonna plant them like right next to each other, like that. Bring that soil in around. And then I will be giving them a good water once I place the trellis. Um, just to let the soil settle in around the roots. So I'll go grab the trellis now. Right, so this will be able to go right up against the greenhouse. And then these will come in, and this one's going to probably reach the top already. <laughs> oh, the top snapped on that one. Um, so then I'll be tying them on, just with some twine. But a lot of them will kind of find their own way. So I may tie up a couple, or I could just wrap some twine around the bottom just to um, include another like grapple for them to grab onto. Um, so yeah, let me give them a quick water. Right, so I'm just going to tie another le bit of twine around the middle here just to give them a bit more anchorage, something more they can grab onto uh, because I think I'm not going to tie each stem up um, just because that is going to damage more, like a lot of them if I'm tying them so I think I'm going to leave them to their own devices in a sense obviously I'll keep water in them and guide them the best I can but for the most part I'm going to let them do their own thing. Um, this this variety is uh, Spencer Wiltshire Ripple I believe. Uh, it's a nice nice burgundy colour. It's the same one I grew last year so I'll insert a picture of what they're going to look like. Um, so let's just tie this round um, and then with regards to the wobbliness, I'm going to see how it goes and then um, if I feel like it needs a bit more um, structural <laughs> input, I will add that as and when it needs it. But um, this is it completed and it's there next to my rhubarb and next to the strawberries next to the greenhouse, hopefully it'll provide a little bit of shade in there once it grows. Um, but yeah, that's looking good, I'm glad I got that out of there. Right, so I'm glad I got that out of my greenhouse, I'm glad that's a job I can tick off, even though I don't have a list. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, I, I, I just want to mention, I apologise for how like rushed or unorganised it was. I just like feel a bit awkward because I've got a lot of neighbours. Like my my garden is surrounded by other gardens, obviously, and it's just I get nervous about people listening to me, um, that sort of thing. So <clears throat> I'm sure I'll get used to it over time. But obviously, as you guys know, most of my videos are in my greenhouse or in my upstairs room, so very secluded. But I just need to kind of get used to the idea that people are probably going to listen to me sometimes. Um, anyway, that has no relevance to me planting out my sweet peas. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that's done. Um, let me go, no, let me know what you guys think of the trellis and where it is and how it looks. Um, any tips on growing sweet peas? If you are an expert at it or you're really good at it, let me know. Um, last year, my sweet peas literally flowered up until Christmas. So um, I think well after Christmas as well. It was just a very obviously a very mild winter, but they were just doing so good. So I'm hoping that these guys will flower as prolific as they did. Um, because these are seeds collected off of those plants so 
hopefully they've carried that gene through and they're gonna really provide a lot of flowers um, there's a lot of weeds in this greenhouse um, I'm going to continue doing more videos today so expect to see me in this top in some more videos um, but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying uh, let me know what sweet peas you're growing and uh, what varieties you would recommend for me because I've only really grown the Wiltshire Ripple I'm sure it's called Spencer's Wiltshire Ripple something like that I'll correct it if I was um, wrong um, but they're, a, they're such a lovely colour and I don't often go for the generic or the common like bright like whites, pinks, uh, purples that sort of colours so um, yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video